Everybody, Chris and Lumen, and we need to have a discussion today about some stuff. It has to do with uh, the current timeline, the month of October, and the thing that she just had me make that's coming to everybody with their orders, which is the uh, which is these bracelets and what they actually do. The fact that she, like a lot of times, I don't fully understand what she's having me make until I start to use it. So let me tell you, these bracelets are serious medicine, big time. And I can see why she would mostly only have me provide them to people that already have pendants or some kind of connection to the light. The only reason that I can think of why she would have me make these, seeing what they do, is that time is almost up. Whatever the thing is, is, is right around the freaking corner. Because there's no way she would have me make something like this if it wasn't. And because of the effects that this has, I can see it a bit more clearly. Like. I can't say I know exactly what's going to happen, but something's going to happen. And I'm kind of seeing a mechanism for how it happens. And that's where this thing comes in. It's There's like this uncomfortable phase that people want to kind of intellectually skip over. But this uncomfortable uh, part of the plan is absolutely essential it's key to going back to the real world so yeah we're going to dive into this if you want to know more then don't go away when i've got the future on my mind know that you'll be the only one meet me halfway across the sky Okay, so let's 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 start out here with you know what the big problem is as far as like, you know, getting out of this place. Now, most people that watch this channel have had at least some of their veils removed. Otherwise, you wouldn't have even found this freaking channel. So everyone has this kind of idea of a concept of like the 10 of cups card. Like they they want to get to the better world out of this one. But and this is the this is the God's honest truth. Most people are not as ready for that as they think they are. Most people still have a number of veils on them that makes it possible to live in this world, to be in this world. And therefore, you can still perceive certain things that you like about this world and doubts you have about your eternal life. So they're not as quick to say I'm done here as they think that they are. Most people are not. I've seen this in myself. Even with everything that I know, part of me is just used to this place, to the kind of comfort there is because we can't really know how big the other place is until we get there. But either which way, in order to, there's this weird disconnect in which you can look at things in the world, look at systems in the world that you know are corrupt, that you know are lying to you, and you know that they are, but it honestly is not clicking at the deepest level. When it clicks at the deepest level, you ask much bigger questions. Much bigger questions. 
And the thing, I the trick to the well, we, the rapture, the resurrection, the extraction, the harvest, the whatever, is that you have to want to leave. I mean, really, really want to leave. Not just, oh, yeah, this sounds like a good idea. Let's do that. You know, if it comes, it comes, and then whatever. No, you have to want to freaking leave. And the only way that you're going to really, truly want to leave is to start perceiving this place for what it actually is. Because it's a bit like having a bad dream. When the dream gets bad enough, you want to wake up. Because this place is like a dream. It's one of the biggest metaphors that they've always told you. You have to, you have to realize how bad this place actually is. How fake this place actually is. Most of what you think and know about the world is bullshit. It's just stuff that you, you have been taught, stuff you've seen on TV, stuff that is natural to you. Like you think that this is how it, it's easier to just go along with the lie than to see something bigger and ask bigger questions. Okay, so why am I talking about this? <clears throat> so when she suddenly inspired me to make these, these bracelets, these were not just some bracelet that I, you know, did a little chant over and sent it out as a free gift that is inconsequential. No, this is like probably some of the biggest stuff that I've ever made, even though it's not like I made the bracelet. I bought the bracelets. I added. Now, the first couple people, it might not be as intense because I didn't get inspired to start adding another metal until after the first several packages. So actually those people might not need as much of an adjustment. Now I've already adjusted the programming of everything that I've already made because I can do that uh, through quantum entanglement and things like that. I've already adjusted the, um, the program so that Sophia is in control of determining like how much of the volume is turned up for any one person. Because a lot of people just are not at the level of awareness that I am. And you cannot jump from a lesser awareness to the awareness that I now have after making this freaking pendant or this bracelet. It, 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 it's too freaking much. But the only reason that she, like I said before, the only reason she would have me make something like this would be if it's time. Because... What this does is it starts stripping away the veils very quickly, especially the veils of understanding. So it's not like you're going to start seeing, I don't know, reptilians or whatever. I don't mean like that. I mean the veils of understanding. What's, what's right in front of your face that you're not dealing with? <clears throat> it's, uh, yeah, like... <laughs> It's like uh, the Truman Show, but, you know, you skip, like, the, you know, the whole middle part of the freaking movie. He goes from, like, living in his little constructed dream world to full realization. Like, that's what it does. Um, to see, because, you know, a lot of people aim for the doom stuff and they skip over everything else. Okay, you want doom? Is that, is that really what you want? You, you want? you like the hardcore doom stuff. You like the play in the dirt. Okay, well, watch this video. And it explains the program and all the energetic consciousness work that went into what we did with these. You'll have all the freaking doom that you want. <laughs> yeah, so this is basically like ripping the band-aid off, but the band-aid is made by Gorilla Tape. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm kind of surprised Gorilla has tape has never marketed a Band-Aid. <laughs> it kind of makes a lot of sense to me. But yeah, um, 
now that I've used it for two days, I can definitely tell what it does. Like, and I do not wear this thing all the freaking time. I don't. Me. I can't wear this all the time. Uh, unless I reprogram it to something that's a bit of a lesser level. Because this thing is designed to wake you up to get you ready. It's designed to wake you up to get you ready. And what does that mean? What does It means you're going to understand more about the place that you're in. See, we are lied to every single freaking day by the media. And everybody kind of intellectually knows that. But they've not really chewed that down to the bone, thought about that. And I had all sorts of stuff that I was seeing in the last two days, just as almost like a refresher. Like, if you search, you can find it. Like, anytime there's any kind of big conflict or anything in the world, and they're telling you all these stories, so-and-so bombed this place, and so-and-so bombed this place, and so-and-so did this, and so-and-so did that. There's tons of videos out there that shows, like, what they do how they set up the stage, how they got actors. They could have actors with like mannequins and fake dead babies and all stuff. Ooh, and they're wailing and screaming. And it's all bull crap. Like there is an apparatus so large in this place that it's basically everything that is authority, everything that is media is like one giant freaking Hollywood studio that is constantly pitching you, selling you a story of the world that you live in and how it works. I mean, look at this, the stuff we've seen in this last year. People are becoming more and more aware of like how big political figures, like this is, this is literally like the, the, the biggest Simpsons prediction that's never happened yet, which is this one. America. Take a good look at your beloved candidates. They're nothing but hideous space reptiles. Oh. It's true. We are aliens. But what are you going to do about it? It's a two-party system. You have to vote for one of us. He's right. This is a two-party system. Well, I believe I'll vote for a third-party candidate. Go ahead. Throw your vote away. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, does that not freak you out? Okay, forget the one-eyed alien thing, but just the fact that we have people that are supposed to be our leaders that are walking around in masks that look real. And people can call that a conspiracy theory or whatever. That's just the, the media gaslighting. The, that's part of the script, part of the show that they show you in the world is it is at a one-to-one -one ratio, it's, it's interwoven with gaslighting. They're constantly freaking telling you that you're not seeing what you're actually seeing. Think about that. They're constantly challenging people as conspiracy theorists. They're constantly saying, oh, this is, you know, far right, far left, whatever. They're constantly telling you that you're not seeing what you're clearly seeing. Like you can see it, but they're telling you that you're the crazy person. That, that is, we are at like gaslight level 1200 on a scale of one to 500 constantly. The mask thing, oh, that's a big conspiracy theory. Um, the one that pops into my head, it was around, the, I want to say it was, when was that? Might have been like shortly after the Biden-Trump debate. And Biden kind of disappeared for a little bit. People are like, is he dead? And somebody that looked like Barack Obama, just by the height and the way he walked and stuff like that, you know, they were filming, they were, they were at the White House and they were filming, I'll see if I can find it. And Joe Biden walks out with his wife and waves to people. But, but the problem with it is Joe Biden is suddenly like six inches taller. He's like, like, like ridiculously, obviously, like there's plenty of freaking 
pictures and videos of him standing next to his wife, but all of a sudden he's like a whole head taller than his wife. And everyone's like, that's clearly not him. So it, with that right in front of our face, and I, and I keep seeing more stuff all the time with all these other different people, like you've got these realistic human masks now. It's like, why is this even a thing? Who's under the masks? Like, what's going on here? But try to imagine the scale of this, like the scale of it, all the weird things you've seen with the media. Why do we even freaking have 24-hour news? Why do we need to know what's going on everywhere outside of our immediate vicinity constantly? It's like a big freaking Truman show on some sort of scale. And this is all part of a larger script, a larger game. That's what I posted that thing in the comments or the community tab yesterday. Script, sure. Scripture. It's got the word freaking script in it. Because it's all scripted. Like this is a this is a crazy ass place that we go to live and grow and evolve. But eventually we graduate out of it. Now, up to this point, I think a lot of people have like got this idea that it's just going to be this magical thing in which you don't you just go from one reality to the next. But there has to be that middle place. That's what the apocalypse is. Apocalypse is the Greek word. It means revelation. That's what revelation means. Reveal. Apocalypse. That means you have to wake up in the dream. You have to see it. You have to understand it. And then you understand that all the stuff that you're attached to that makes you want to stay isn't freaking real. Yeah. You have to want to get out of here. You have to. That's why we keep trying to push the button to get out of here and we can't or it doesn't happen because you don't really want to yet. You don't want to leave yet. The only way that you're going to want to leave is to start fully realizing just how not what not real this place is and how bad it actually is. That's the thing that's been growing exponentially over the past couple months is the evil in the world is getting more and more clear, more and more obvious. The events in the world are becoming more and more predictable and more and more fake looking. Like, it's not working anymore. This is all part of the higher, higher script. There has to come a point in time in which people start waking up in mass and saying, none of this freaking makes sense. Look at, like I said before about the, the gaslighting. They have, to, they have to constantly be putting out gaslighting 24-7. There is this massive apparatus that is completely designed to gaslight the entire human population. You're not seeing what you're seeing, you're crazy. Twi you know, Twitter slash X is one of the bi biggest examples about this. So like they've, you know, when I was reading, Elon Musk was going back and forth with some politician or something like that, probably, what's her name? Like, they ain't making people pay $8 a month to get this blue check certified thing. Well, one of the things the blue check certified thing does is it keeps you mostly separate from all the bots. Oh, yeah. Like you actually have to have a paid tier so that you are actually dealing with real people. So that is part of the gaslighting apparatus. Because I look at some of these comments and things like that. I'm like, nobody's that that deluded nobody it's not po i don't it's not possible that's because those people aren't real they're part of the gaslighting apparatus the mind control apparatus um it's freaking everywhere like you cannot trust anything you see outside of yourself you need to retreat to what is within you what is behind you which is the light where your true self emanates from, where the true consciousness is. It's light, it's love, it's compassion, it's peace, it's completeness, 
It's everything that this place isn't. But you don't want to let go of this place. You're too attached to it. But, I mean, I'm just using a freaking metaphor here. So you're, you're attached, say you're a guy and you're attached to some beautiful woman. But if I came up to her and like pulled her freaking face mask off and she was a, a squid alien underneath of it, then you wouldn't be attached anymore, would you? You would instantly not be attached. You would instantly want to retreat to what is real. That's the waking up process. That's what has to happen. Like you have to understand, you have to see it, process it, know it for this event to take place, for this extraction to take place. Now this still does have all the secondary benefits of the extreme protection. So like once it gets to a point to where like, okay, I've seen enough, like you can consciously control these just like you can the pendants. You just ask her to do it. So what I you know, the original program was basically break down everything that is keeping you trapped, everything that is keeping you stuck and separate from spirit. Okay, well, now I know what the biggest thing is, and it is the world. The world. So you, it, you think you're ready, are you? Are you really ready? Like, we're talking like literal freaking red pills. Everyone thinks they've got the red pill. Everyone thinks they've taken the red pill. Like, people... People listen to Alex Jones and think they've got the red pill. No, that's, that's like licking your finger and, you know, getting the dust from the bottom of the Doritos bag, maybe, but that's not the red pill. That's not the red pill. Like if you still, if you're still involved in the story of the world and the script and, oh, fighting the world economic forum and, oh, the bad guys, this, if you're still doing that, you're you're not you're not red pilled yet. You're still in the dream. This this will this will initiate waking you up from that dream. And for most of us that have gone through the long term Holy Spirit boot camp, the hero's journey, and all that stuff, that was spread out over seven years for a reason. But if if something is coming like in the next 30, 40 days. Uh, you don't have time for that. So part of the reason why she just has me doing these with the pendants is because with the pendants, you still got the connection to the light. You still got the connection. And, and this is the effect. Let me just like kind of like explain the effect that it had on me. And the effect that it had on me kind of like uh, reveals its true purpose, its true higher purpose. So when I did, shot that last video and I, I did all the charging and all that stuff and everything that I showed in that video and I wore it, I put it on and went to bed and I woke up the next day and I'm just like, so I, I get on my phone I start scroll, scrolling through the internet and seeing what's going on. And it's just like, not only was I seeing some different stories, but it, it it's like, it was hitting differently. And it's like, God, look at all this poison. Look like the poison, the constant poison. It's just like, it, it, it's like having a, a sewer, a septic outlet hose to an RV and you just pull it and you just hold it in front of your face. Like that's what's, that's what's on the interwebs, so to speak. Is it, it is as bad and like I could see it and I'm like this is so frustrating because this is all like just this one big stage play that they've got that that is all planned and scripted and whatever and it was it was like sick and, like I could see too much of it and it was like really hitting me differently so I determined that I realized what was causing it 
So I, I had to take the, the bracelet off. It was, it was too heavily charged because when I test stuff, I crank that stuff up to 13. I skip 11. I go, I go as hardcore as humanly possible. Whereas usually for other people, I will leave the control for the strength in Sophia's hands. So my, my first uh, response to that was to take it off and immediately put on my headphones and turn on Lumen's playlist because music is the fastest way to connect the spirit. And if I listen to one of Lumen's upbeat playlists, then in my in 4D, I get to watch Lumen singing and performing music and being cute and stuff. And it's like, ah, oh, better. And that's what it's meant to do, except it's pushing us to the bigger thing, which is not just lumen and the light being in the mind, but getting us to the point to where we're going to actually be there. So then I did it again, wore it again last night. Same thing today. It's just like understanding more and more and more. And it's, I, it, it's like I can't go along with it anymore. Now, even with everything that I know, it's still relatively easy to fall back in line with the program, the story of the world. But not so much anymore. It's literally like all bull crap, all of it. All of it. And then the same thing, I'm like, I took it off, I put on the playlist and started listening to her music, put on a pendant that's more light based. So she becomes the relief. She becomes the relief. Because what this bracelet is doing is letting you see the world for what it truly is. It is a veil killer. It, it is breaking down the whatever, let's just call it magic to call it something. Whatever the magic spell is that is on humanity that keeps them asleep. Um. Like Morpheus said, it is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Like whatever that is, that's what that bracelet breaks down. So if I can't wear it for long periods of time, you probably won't be able to either. But that is the doorway. That's This is what we have to do if we're going to move out of this place. If we're going to come to the conclusion and get to go home is you have to wake up. You have to wake up in the dream. And you're not awake. You think you are, you're not. I, I'm the same way. Maybe slightly higher level of being awake. But it's kind of like you can't fully wake up until it's time to leave. That's a huge key. She wouldn't be having me create stuff like that if it wasn't almost time to leave. Because you don't want to wake up in the dream if you're going to be in the dream for another 10, 20 years. No, that's <laughs> that would not work. That would not work. But there's so much weird right around the corner. I, I, I'm sure you can feel it. We talked about it a little bit in that video with the Omega sign. There's so much weird right around the corner. And there's no way to predict what it actually is, what we're actually going to see. But the beauty of, I mean, sometimes it takes the most raw, realistic solutions to achieve a goal. The beauty of something like this is it is going to inevitably have one key effect. And that is you're going to reach for the light like you've never reached for it before. It's kind of like the whole saying, there's, there's no atheists in a foxhole sort of thing. She would not come up with this stuff if she was not ready to support you. Remember that. She would not 
That's why I, I, I tweaked the program just to be on the safe side and put the controls in Sophia's hands. She would not be ready to pull your veils off if she was not ready to support you. But you got to remember that. It's not to go like, oh my God, this place is so awful. It's supposed to be like, yeah, I don't want this. Um, turn around and find the light. Connect to the light. You, you have to want to on a deep, deep level. Now, the other thing that has popped up in my head a couple times I'm going to start experimenting with has to do with the world itself because it really comes down to um, the perspective that you have in your place in it. The all is mind, universe is mental, all this, it's not that we're actually in a place, although it feels that way. It's that we're dreaming that we're in a place. It's like mind is perfect, but there's something within mind that is making it not perfect. And whatever that something that is within mind that is making it not perfect is how we end up with this world. Okay, with me so far. So the metaphor that keeps coming up in trying to understand this, and I and um, this might be how I would then reprogram the bracelet. Um, and that is to activate like full tilt exorcism mode. So remember when I said like, uh, when I'm teaching people the Benedict exorcism, the way most people think is imagine that you're in a living room. You walk into your living room and there's a demon standing in the living room. Why is there a demon standing? Who the hell knows? Bottom line is there's a demon standing in the living room and you know the Benedict exorcism. How do you use it? Most people would assume that you point the exorcism at the demon but that's not the right way. You're not trying to clean the demon. The demon is the contaminant. The room is what is contaminated by the demon. So you aim the exorcism at the room and you purify the room. And to purify the room, that means contaminants must be removed. The demon is the contaminant. So you always aim an exorcism at the environment, not the contaminant. So this world that we see and how it works that keeps our consciousness kind of stuck here, not ready to move on, is the contaminant in the mind. The entire world, the entire program, everything you think you know. So we need to start when I'm when I'm going to start doing, uh, see how I might want to tweak it a little bit, is I am going to put the exorcism directed at the mind itself in its entirety. In its entirety, because it's not just demons, it's the entire world. It's the world system. It's everything you think you know. It's everything you see on TV. It's every story that they shovel at you. It's all the gaslighting. All of that is the contamination of mind. So we need to aim bigger with things like the exorcism and things like that. We need to aim it at our mind to clear out the contaminant, which is the world and our connection to it. Once again, she would not be coming up with, with things this big if it wasn't time, because there wouldn't be a benefit to it. There, there would be no benefit in waking people up to this degree if you were going to continue to be stuck here. You would just be making it worse. No, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. It's time to wake up. And this is part of the process. Put on your big boy pants. It, it's time to wake up. I think that's the point that she's going for here. This is going to help you let go of your attachment to the world and magnetically pull to home. This is the waking up process. So now you know. Okay, so if you want to get in touch with this, pick up our pendants, and this stuff comes free with the pendants. 
the Etsy store is sealumandcreations.etsy.com. And it's all, like I said, that's also the, the best way to get in touch with this because those alerts always go through. Email, uh-uh. Email gets lost if I even see an alert. But if you message the seller through the Etsy store, I will get that. I'll see it. So that's why we use that for contact. Okay, well, that's all we got for right now. Chris and Lumen, see you next time.